Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to download the software called AnyDesk. But before downloading, let's talk about what is AnyDesk. AnyDesk is a software which lets you control remotely any two devices. Maybe it's a laptop to the laptop, maybe it's a laptop to the mobile device, maybe it's a mobile device to the laptop. So let's get started. How to download? I will use my Chrome to download. I will go and search for A N Y D E S K and search for the software. The first link lets me download it. I will click on free download. In a while, it will get downloaded depending on the internet speed. Let's single click on it. Click on run. Now, this software is running on your computer, but still it is not installed. It's a very lightweight software, but still it's not installed on your computer. How to do that? You just have to simply click on here, install any desk on this computer. Yes, I would like to do that. Keep all the settings as it is and click on accept and install. And now this software is installed. Let's close everything and open the AnyDesk software. I have the AnyDesk software installed here. I may double click on it. And this is the interface. This number is the address of your computer, which you are going to share with the other party so they can access your computer from the other side. Likewise, the other party is also going to have a number something like this and they can share it with you and you can enter here and click on connect after connect you can control their computer let's assume i do not have other computer but i have a trouble and i want some it person to help me so for the instance i will take it on my mobile device i will connect it and it will prompt me to accept it the beauty of this software is if you are not going to accept this invitation, the other party will never be able to get into your computer. Please keep in mind the device name of the other party will always show here and do not share your number with anyone unless it's really required. Please click on accept. The session is started on the other side. I can control the session wherever I would like to let's like minimize it let me minimize this one also let me go and search for where is my zoom okay it's here I will double click it I will open it and I may go to meetings if I would like to maybe I can help someone from my side to click on join and enter the meeting code and join the meeting this is just an example. You can do whatever you would like to. Maybe you, I would like to open the startup menu. Maybe I want to search for anything. I can do that. In part two of this video, I am going to show you how you can control any device via mobile. And after the session is finished, just click on disconnect. The session is ended. Before we see how to access your computer via mobile device, we need to install the same application on the mobile device as well. So let's get started. I will go to Play Store. I will search for any desk software. I will install it. It takes a little bit of time depending on the internet speed. I will open it. I will click OK on the plugin. There's a plugin we need to install. Yes, click on install. We install this plugin. That's really necessary we to install. Let's go back to the device uh, and search for any desk software. Again, click OK. Now, in the accessibility, you need to find where's your any desk. Find it and approve it and click yes. Go back, go back. 
and go back just click anywhere to get rid out of this uh, tutorial type of thing now in this part what you are going to do you are going to enter the other party's number here that you want to remotely access now here you are going to give help to the other party all right now here the other party is waiting to authenticate or to approve the session it is connected now here i may do whatever i want maybe i can access the control maybe i can minimize the things maybe i can open zoom application maybe whatever i want to do i can do that it's really simple you can access any device from anywhere in the world without any trouble what you need just two things a good internet connection and these applications installed on both of the sides here what i'm doing i'm just uh, searching maybe um, i can go to the settings maybe i can go to uh, statics check the version number and i can click, click cancel with this software what i can do i can access the other person's laptop and give them any type of a help they require maybe they have connection issues maybe they have uh, email not working maybe the student cannot access to the zoom application maybe the student cannot access to google classroom with this application with this remote desktop i can access their computer and i can help them thanks for watching i hope this is helpful